This is a phase one study um, that's looking at a JAK2 inhibitor, ruxolinib, which is approved in hematologic malignancies and giving it in combination with trastuzumab in those uh, patients who've progressed on trastuzumab. So the data that's being presented here just demonstrates that it's a well-tolerated combination. We were able to go up to the maximum dose of uh, 25 milligrams twice a day. But what's really interesting about the study is how it was created. So it was conceived based upon some collaboration that we had with a, bio, um, with a uh, bioinformatics uh, systems biology group that identified that in trastuzumab resistance that uh, JAK2 is important. So this is really the incorporation of big data to identify through non-oncogene dependence that this may be a target in patients with, uh, who progressed on HER2-targeted therapies. We've accrued 10 invaluable patients and we've identified that it's a well-tolerated combination. There were no unexpected toxicities. So that's really the data that have been, those are really the data that have been presented here. But the study's ongoing. Uh, we ran um, straight into a phase two and um, those data, uh, this is a multi-center trial um, that we're hoping to complete relatively soon so that we can see whether or not there continues to be a signal with JAK2 inhibition in this disease.